Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning. It's LA, the 6.30 edition. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And there's great anticipation for that third stimulus check bill. We can see the bill by the early part of next week because it's going to get finalized in the House subcommittees today. But the push to get it finalized involves you because certain things are left out. Certain things are not robust enough. Certain things need to get modified. And in this video, I go over what those items are. Then the bill's ready for a vote. And next week, we would see the bill. When the bill is put to a vote on the House floor, I'll have a copy for you. The members of this channel will get a copy of it, and you'll see how and where everything's going to land. It's moving very quickly. It's fast track. I'm really excited for you. Let's get ready to rock and roll. This is Early Mornings LLite. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA, the continuation at the 6.30 edition. Thank you for joining me. If you did not watch the 6 a.m. edition right before this, please do. That video went over the procedural maneuvering of the third stimulus package bill, where it's going, how it's going, the timing, the timing of money thereafter, plan B, plan A. I went over all those details. But in this video, I go over the provisions in the package itself. How much money for you? How many items? What are the eligibility? I go over all that detail with a 30-page summary of release by the Biden-Harris camp, which I got an exclusive, nearly exclusive copy for, that I can go over with you summarizing what is potentially in the 6,000 approximate page bill. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe because this is the most comprehensive online channel reporting on news and breaking financial developments across the board 24-7. Now at 30, 93 million views, we're shooting for 100 million views by the end of this ninth month, a YouTube record of enormous proportions. So help us reach 900 million views. Make sure you watch all of today's videos. There was early morning before this, then FPUC and EIDL and Hazard Pay currently on the, on the channel in the last two few hours. Meantime, coming up later is Mornings LA at 9.30, at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So subscribe, hit that alert button, like this video because it helps in the algorithm rankings a lot. And consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Meantime, over there is an instant chat. You can chat with your Purple Power buddies about the campaigns you're going to go on social media with today, like FBC Retro, hashtag MSE, and hashtag SS200. And with that, I have so much happening in this video. I'm going to go over really these provisions, the where we are, what we need to do. And then I'll be answering some of your 2,000 comments approximately from yesterday's video as well. I have them here. So if you have a comment, drop them as I go along in this video. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this new morning is that there's only about a few more hours left to get modifications in there for the third stimulus package bill. So claims Nancy Pelosi. She claims by the end of today, her House subcommittees will finalize everything in the bill. And that will be it. The bill will be ready to go out for a vote on the House of Representatives floor early next week. So there's no modification of the language thereafter. It will then land in the Senate after it's approved by the House. Chuck Schumer is not going to modify the language either. This is Democrats and Democrats. They don't, they don't modify someone else's language. Uh, they don't modify their own language. They do it one time and that's it. So the time and place to get the language modified is today. And what are the items? Let's go right at it. The first big one is SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. You are not in the bill according to the summary. Nothing in there. Now, you will get a stimulus check. You'll get everything else that everyone else is getting. But that thing that I we all were anticipating, that $200 a month on top of your benefits, not in there. The up to 20% increase on benefits, not in there. And also, the new benchmark at the end of the year, different than COLA, not in there. 
Now, this is a biggie because they were promised to be in there in the transition papers or at least in somewhere. I'll go over the somewhere in a second, but it's not in there according to the summary of the bill from the Biden camp. The summary is by Biden. So you need to be on social media with a hashtag campaign, hashtag SS200. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hashtag SS200. Tag the House representatives, AOC, the progressives, um, the progressive head. Tag them and say, we need this $200 a month in there. This is imperative. Now, let me address one sort of confusing factor, which is, is compounded by so many things. I'll try to make it simple. Is that Joe Biden's transition papers talked about a lot of things besides stimulus. He talked about fixing the schools and the teachers. I referred to that as like the fourth stimulus package. He also talked about fixing the highways. I referred to that as the fifth stimulus package. Now, he also talked about fixing the whole SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits system. And I also always talked about that as a separate standalone bill. And it still could be a separate standalone bill. It absolutely still could. So if it doesn't get into this, there's still hope for it. There's still hope for it as a separate standalone bill. But here is my concern. I do things on the comm. I don't think do things after the fact. That's how you know me and how I operate. Is there was a series of major news reports that's talked about Joe Biden's focus on fixing the system, the Social Security system, as one of the great legacies of his administration, and that he hopes to get to that next year. I heard that, and I my heart just dropped. Next year? Well, it's okay if you're fixing the, the way benefits are paid out, and the benchmark, and the 20%. That's fixing the system. But the $200 a month, that's that's coronavirus stimulus. He said in his own words, written, that's for stimulus. He said that during the pandemic, you weren't getting enough money. And this is not his only per this is not the only person who said this. A lot of people said this. Uh, Pete, Pete DeFazio, uh, a House a Democrat from the new uh, Northwest, I think it's Washington or uh, Oregon, said that, hey, Social Security recipients and people on SSI have not been getting enough money during this pandemic because prices have gone up. Your benefits are staying the same. You need a lot more money. He actually called for additional stimulus checks for you. So this is not a novel concept. Everyone has been talking about this for a while. So the fact that anyone would talk about Joe doing other things with the system next year makes me concerned that, hey, this needs to go now. The $200 a month is something for now. It is not something for after the pandemic's over. All right, so that's the big one. Hashtag SS200. You need to push, push, push to get this in here. Now, understand if you are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, you do also all so get a stimulus check of $1,400, as everyone else does, or as an adult dependent, $3,200. It's just the $200 a month thing, which is your thing, only for you and your group. That's not mentioned in these papers. All right, the next thing that got to get fixed is the stimulus check, $1,400 and $3,200. Those are the only two amounts for stimulus checks. Yesterday, I did a couple of videos where I said, hey, you know, these other YouTube channels are just out of control of their lives lately. They're using all these strange numbers, $6,000 stimulus check and $3,600 and $3,900 and $3,400 and $3,500. There's only two numbers. It's $1,400 or $3,200. It's $1,400 if you're a single individual, $1,400 if you're a kid, double if you're a married couple, or if you're an adult dependent, it's $3,200. Again, anyone on SSI and SSDI, if you're an adult dependent, $3,200. If you're not adult dependent, $1,400. You're getting a stimulus check. There is no other number. Now, that may sound good to some people. Some people may be happy with $1,400. Some people may be happy with $3,200. But that was what was owed to you in 2020. They said that's for you in 2020, and we will give you a $2,000 check in 2021. Let's repeat that another way. The $1,400 and $3,200 was 2020 stimulus checks that were not paid out because they didn't finalize them. 
And they said at the time, and, and next year, we will also give you a $2,000 stimulus check next year. They ran on that campaign promise where there was Ossoff and Warnock, the two Georgia senators, say, elect us and we will give you a new $2,000 stimulus check in 2021. They're not doing it. They're reneging on their promise. Or Biden or Schumer or AOC, they all knew and heard very clearly. It's actually not Schumer and AOC's fault. They understood as well that it was going to be $2,000 plus $1,400, 2000 plus $3,200. But suddenly Biden's not doing that. This is why you have to go on social media and tag the elect officials say, hey, get this done. Now, in the video before this, I certainly went over um, what the progressives in the House are doing. Uh, first of all, let me just, <laughs> here's a kind word about the progressives. They are sort of like the problem solvers. They do a press release and they get a lot of public relations for it. And then they just go sip a cocktail and they don't fight for anything. You know, it is ineffective to just keep on writing press releases and having press conferences and having beautiful logos with, with colored graphics. It doesn't get anyone anything. It's just talking about stuff. It's talk and not walk again. So yesterday, the progressives did write a letter to, to Biden and Harris saying, we want a check every month until the pandemic's over. They did not mention the amount. And I know that other channels sort of probably made 500 videos about that. You're getting the check every month. No, you're not getting a check every month. These are people that write press releases and just sort of go, you know, try to get a book deal on how much publicity they're getting for themselves. Some of them are actually like that. They're politicians. And so whatever the, the, the problems, the, the progressive said, it's not happening and they're not going to fight for it to happen. So it's out of the equation. Now let's go back to FPUC. FPUC is really, really disgraceful. Uh, Joe Biden wrote $600 over and over and over in his transition papers after he was elected, right before he came into the Oval Office, no less than four weeks ago, $600 a week. The $400 a week is sort of like, every time I hear it, I just sort of like, what? I think it's a typo. I just, I, I really think it's a typo. I just want to get some of those Bernie Sanders mitts, uh, mittens, just put my hands up and say, stop. I don't, I don't want to hear that $400. It's just silly because there's no Republican fighting for $400. There's no, there's no, you know, uh, naysayer fighting for $400. It's just in there. And it's like, why did you put it in there? It's supposed to be $600. You told us it's supposed to be $600. Nancy said it's supposed to be $600. Everyone says it's supposed to be $600. Why is it $400? Why? You know, and I can understand people want to be bipartisan, but no one on the other side was arguing for $400. Why did you do that to Americans? Take $200 a week from them, away from them for a week. No one was saying they weren't going to agree to $600. Moreover, if they're not agreeing on anything else, then why are you just sort of giving away our money? Uh, you know, there's a time and place in which you want to give concessions that you're at the final the finish line, but you weren't at the finish line. You weren't even getting anyone on point for anything from the Republican Party. So you just gave away $200 a week. doesn't make sense. Also not making sense is the FPC is the retroness. It's not supposed to be in there. Uh, in a second, I'm going to get to some of your 2000 comments and questions from yesterday's video. Let me go over the other things that are in the bill. There is you are FPC to $400 a week going forward to September 21. UI going forward to September 21. PUA extended to September 2021. There's rent aid, and that's really good for low income, middle class, and also for homeless. There's utilities for low income, middle class, and homeless. That's also really good. Free and free child care. The business grants and business loans, uh, they're great. I just hope it's they're done right. Again, this is where you need to fight for things. The business grant for existing businesses that have been impacted by the pandemic. Business loan is for new businesses just starting up. Paid sick leave up to $1,400 a week. I'm going off the PDF, which members of this channel have. Uh, the student aid supplement, $1,700 for kids in college. Then hazard pay. And then child. And then all these tax credits. Um, you know... If you have an opinion about anything in addition to things that I say in this video, do the same thing. Go on social media and tag the elect officials. Say, hey, this needs to get fixed. I don't like these at all. Let me answer some of your 2,000 questions from yesterday's video. Uh, Nancy Doyle, they have done a horrible kick them all out now. <laughs> uh, Mary Ann, they're not showing us the bill because they're trying to chop it up and throw us a bone. Us minions. Keep the faith, Purple Power, power family. Love you. Love you back, Mary Ann. Tamara. 
We are owed $2,000 and back pay from April. Amen. Catherine Yell, why do they keep on putting us off? They have everything they need, so why should they help us? We wait for them to vote. They would act like putting us off like the government selfish people. Where was that? Scott Swishish, everything they've done for this pandemic, they just didn't put it okay and, and, and pandemic, sign it, sign it, sign it. Very well said. Uh, Liz Ticket, I'm here listening to my Purple Power family. Ella, I love you guys and all the great work you do. I appreciate that, Liz. Appleholic, with a hilarious remark. And Jan, if they had to live on day on what we have to do, they would fail. Amen to that. If you have questions in the comments of today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. If you're confused by anything uh, and you need help, then uh, certainly do that as well. Meantime, if you need assistance for rent or utilities right now, reach out to the volunteers. They're in the pinned comment to this video at the description and also in the pinned comment, news.lilight.com forward slash community. On Lax Beyond uh, Air at 8.30 a.m. with Mornings Allied, please join me then. I can't wait to see you. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, like this video and hit that alert button so I'll send you an alert when I'm next live. And meantime, if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Calcino VIP, or Purple Power. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay at that life for more.